this is my degree. Well, this is this is just this is my degree, and I got it for free. I got it for free in Finland because Finland has, most Nordic countries have a high tax rate and Finland has pretty high tax rate, 24%, just flat across everything. You go to the store, you get food, 24% more on that food. Clothes, 24%. That's, it's crazy. But there are some good things to that. Free school. Now, the tuition is free, but you need a student visa which is 6,000 euros. That's what the $6,000 is for, is to show that you can live. And so they do have an entrance exam and you need to sign up for the entrance exam and they will invite you to it after you send your high school diploma. You go and take it. it there's different places around the world. Uh, I happened to already be in Finland at the time, so I took it there, but I actually got rejected <laughs> the first time. Uh, they had Kagos 3 on their entrance exam for engineering then they send you an email and let you know if you got in so that's my degree bachelor's mechanical engineering which I don't even do I'm actually a developer I code all day because mechanical engineering is not for me probably shouldn't have said that mechanical engineering is a good degree you should all go get one it was really hard the entrance exam was really hard and uh, I think 200 people took it at the school, but a total of 1,500 around the world took it. They take 30. Uh, I got rejected, but I was number nine on the waiting list, and I'm like, who's gonna reject free school? Nine people aren't gonna reject free school. What are, what are they thinking? But actually, somehow, after like two more months, they send me an email, congratulations, you've been accepted. So apparently nine people didn't wanna go, which just seems strange to me. The US mechanical engineering degree is um, statistics right here and it's usually a pretty high return in terms of salary. So you're wondering like, what is the validity? Like, can I take my degree from Finland to the US? Yes, that's what I did. Here you have private schools such as ITT, which doesn't exist anymore. You have DeVry, all those things, right? They're not really accredited. They're accredited with the national accreditation of non-accredited schools pretty much. That's why they have ABET here to make sure that you're meeting all of the academic things that can define certain degrees, but in Finland, it doesn't, all of the schools are managed by the government, so they all have the same top tier, and you can see that Finland's pretty high on education in terms of um, the developed world. It took me three and a half years. They do have a mandatory internship that you have to do. That's up to you to figure out where you did it. I did it here in the U.S., and then I went back and finished my degree, graduated, and well, I started shotgunning out resumes about six months before that, and then I found a job. And they were like, hey, we want to fly you out. We want to give you a car. We want to give you an apartment for three months until you can get on your feet. And I was like, are you serious? Is this for real? Like, All right, you got it. And then they wanted to pay me a lot. Well, compared to, you know, my like $10 subway job, that was like seven twenty-five. So apparently the degree has some value. And uh, I worked there for a while and I figured out mechanical engineering wasn't for me. And then I went to a code boot camp part-time because I can't just quit my life after I just move countries. But then I decided I want to work remote. How cool is it to like work at home? It's actually, it's pretty sweet when your commute is like over there to the next room, back into this room. It's pretty sweet. But this is a story for another time. And what did I, what was my like graduating salary? It was 74,000 per year. It was worth it. It was definitely an experience. Finnish people are an experience, but if you have any questions, let me know. I'll see if I can answer them. Talk to you the next time.